single tear rolled down Miss Catherine's cheek. She didn't say it then, but she loved him. The end. <sighs> Mrs. Montgomery and the Secret Wedding. Our first script, we did it! Congratulations, buddy. It's a tight 281, but we can always add pages in the rewrites. I don't want to jump the gun here, but this is exactly how James Cameron feels when he steps out of a submarine or divorces a wife. Jacob, this is our ticket to the big time. We sell this script, and it's nothing but sushi lunches and validated parking from now on. <laughs> Pete, 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 my naive Pete. You don't know the biz like I do, okay? They're not going to take a packet from no-name writers. It's unsolicited material. That's a no-go for show. So what do we do do Kachu? We're gonna scrap our names off of it. Put some big boys on there. John Lasseter, Steven Spielberg, Buzz Aldrin. We put their names on the title page? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So these people are getting a script and they're saying, hold on, this script is written by two Academy Award winning directors and a guy who walked on the moon and, and danced, danced with, with the, the stars. stars. We're gonna be so rich, it's crazy. Like tip on the way in, tip on the way out rich. Mm -hmm. Like my house is gonna have two bathrooms rich. Two. There's just one person we have to get past. Damn it. Yeah. I'm sorry, who are you? Uh, don't move. I can hear you. Why don't you guys just stand up? Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> just doing some office play. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Peter. This is Jacob. Hi. Hey, oh, hey, that's hey. right. You're nobodies. Okay, only somebodies can put their script in this pile. I'd say sorry, but I'm not a board game. Okay. Well, we hope you have a great day. Um, let us know if there's anything. Thank you. We're gonna say no. Okay. All right. We can take a hint. Hey, we're so sorry. We want you Thank to have a you. great day. I will kill you. Okay. 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 We need a distraction. Yeah. Jesus freaking Christ, Jan. This is a bunch of shards of glass in the middle of the goddamn hallway. Can you please get a clue and clean up the mess? You know what, you know what? I'm gonna call you Boggle, because everything you do just boggles my mind. That's it. it is the last time a man called me chintzy ass board game. I quit. Do you hear me, Mr. Burke Walter? I quit. These scripts are all Oh, I hate this job. Hey Pete, just gotta say, that vase idea, that was the one. Thank you. Granted she was certifiably insane, but uh, that's your win. That's your point. I appreciate that. Thank you, Jacob. Yeah. Namaste. Hey, are you the new intern? No! How's it going, guys? Hey! Pat McAfee, disease-free male, plays for the Indianapolis Colts. Oh, the Colts! Cool, what position do you play? Punter! Oh. oh. Yeah. Why are you why are you here? I'm trying to up my profile a little bit, you know? Make some power plays. The only person who really knows who I am is my my agent Evan. There he is. Hey Evan. Evan. E baby. E. Evan. Ev. We're besties. He's probably busy with the bidding war. Bidding war? Well, yeah, what was that? Yeah, we just won a bidding war with Sony for this romantic drama. We paid eight uh -huh. milski for that dang thing. Mrs. Montgomery and the Secret Wedding? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Eight million! Jacob, real quick, real quick, real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money, 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 you guys like that? Yeah, we. Uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. It was to hear. A really good news to hear. You know? Yeah, the checks have already been sent out for the people that wrote it. It's fantastic. Some guy named Lasseter, Spielberg, and Buzz Aldrin, the guy that went on the moon. What? Uh, what? Huh? What? Huh? Stop. Yeah. yeah. Stop. Who? Yeah. Even better, casting has already started. Amari Stoudemire's in it, name drop, one of my good friends. And DeAndre Jordan is gonna play Mr. Reginald, it's gonna be great. Okay, no. Mm -hmm. Mr. Reginald is an 80-year-old man who lives in Brighton in the English countryside, okay? This movie is supposed to take place in the 1920s. 1920s. Yeah, they liked it so much, they decided to change everything. Hold on, what do you mean by everything? Well, you know, whenever the executives get a hold of a script, they like to add their own little touches, you know, so they really adapt things. Like, for instance, my man Tim here. Hello. Loves robots. So if he gets his hands into it, you know what's gonna be in there? A robot. Pew, 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 pew. Not creepy at all, right? It's gonna be fantastic, guys. Hold on though, got I gotta I never get phone calls. New match on Tinder and a phone call. Hello! Thanks for calling. It's a great day. Jacob, it's okay. Jacob. I'm right here, Peter. 
Peter, I'm right here. So we're not gonna get eight million dollars and we're not gonna get to see our vision fulfilled on the silver screen. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. I think he was just exaggerating, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure the artistic integrity of our period drama piece will remain intact, okay? Yeah. Once you put ink on paper, you can't change that, not to me. Do the top! This is not happening. This is happening. <sighs> and you know, in a weird way, we made this happen. If you kind of take away all the muck of Mir Studemeyer's character, the president, it's a lot like our Mrs. Montgomery. I mean, the end of the world plotline. It's sort of like an allegory for the secret wedding, if you really think about it. Something tells me it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Yeah.